take a look at how COVID infections are trending over the past few months. So let's start about 90 days ago, July 1st, the seven day moving average, that is the line in red. Now that hovered around 14,000 cases, but then that number began to rise in the middle of the month. By the start of September, the average number of cases per day exploded to more than 160. But the good news, though, the start of this month has seen that seven day moving average trending downward to just about 103,000 cases. That's a decrease of about 35%. The News Nation's correspondent Janelle Ford is live for us tonight in Atlanta. So, Janelle, cases are trending downward. Does that mean possibly a bit of a more conventional holiday season for us this year? Well, Nicole, we would hope so, but experts say that it's still too soon to tell and are warning that whether Americans can more safely gather this holiday season largely depends on what we do right now. We've seen this play out, right? Those numbers go down. We begin to relax some of those COVID-19 safety precautions. Another variant emerges and then we see another surge and the cycle just starts over again. Health experts say the best way to get out of this pandemic right now is still vaccinations. And right now, 70 million Americans who are eligible for the shot still have not rolled up their sleeves. This comes as the Biden administration is pushing for booster shots for Americans already fully vaccinated. Johnson & Johnson is asking the FDA for emergency use authorization for its booster shot this week. Moderna is still waiting on approval for its. And more and more corporations and agencies are now adopting vaccine mandates as conditions of employment, especially now that the Pfizer vaccine has full FDA approval. Nicole, the latest, the U.S. Department of Defense, uh, it's given its um, it's uh, civilian employees up until November 22nd to be fully vaccinated against COVID-19. All right, so a little more than a month away. All right, Janelle Fort live for us tonight in Atlanta. Thank you.